Daedric magic at the Edrald estate? I'm just glad you were able to close that portal. All right, everyone. It's time to start making preparations. I have been watching out for you. It must be quite an honor to have the High King awaiting your arrival. King Emmerich thought you would be here ahead of him. But he has waited for you nonetheless. Not terribly long, but long enough that he has formulated a plan of attack. This plan requires someone to take quite a bit of risk. I tried to volunteer for the duty, but he insists that you be the one. So I wish you good luck, my friend. So, what do you think of the armor? I'm still officially in mourning, of course, and I don't want to disrespect Aemon's memory, but if we're fighting Septima Tharn, I have to be there. I just do. There you are. If you expected to find us scaling the walls already, I'm sorry to disappoint. Don't get me wrong, we considered taking a stab at it, but with our... Limited numbers, I don't really think that plays to our strengths. Well, let's see. We have this sewer entrance here that the Imperials don't seem to know about. And then, well, we have you, of course. I'm thinking to base our attack strategy around that. What do you say? Yes, sometimes victory means getting dirty, and that's quite literally true, you yeah. know. A passage in the sewers leads to the gatehouse. If you'll open the main gate, we can get into the garrison without having to scale the walls and lose half our men. Just so you know, while you're slogging through sewage, we won't be napping out here. We'll go ahead and assault the main gate. It'll create a good distraction. It'll also mean that if you fail, we'll all die. Just so you know. The sad truth is we're not even sure. More than 200 Knights of St. Helen were stationed here, but only a handful escaped. Their stories are all over the place. Giant Daedra scaling the walls, the dead rising from the crypt, who knows? That old witch was undoubtedly the mastermind. And actually, one of the Knights who escaped claimed Septimus snuck into the garrison posing as a Red Guard refugee and then unleashed Oblivion the next night. Knowing her, that's quite possible. Yes, I met her once, back before the soul burst. I'm ashamed to admit I actually fancied the girl. 
She was as cold as a Nordic winter, of course. I wonder if she's still attractive, though. Regardless, I think her head would look best on a pole. I haven't neglected that. I've looked at the garrison's layout and whatnot, and it'll really depend on what we find in there. I am confident we'll catch them off guard, so no matter what, we'll have to capitalize on that. Unless the gods decide to strike me down before the battle starts, I've had enough standing around in throne rooms talking about fighting the Imperials. I miss the satisfaction of sliding a sword between the plates of an enemy's armor. Of course, battle runs in our blood. You think our family rose to royal power by attending teas, playing games at court, and currying favor with the right nobles? No, this king and queen work. At its heart, it's a bloody business. Many more worthy than me have given their lives to protect this kingdom. My husband. My children. I am not afraid to join them. Drive the bastards back or put them down! I quite forgot how it feels. The rush of blood to the head, the sound and fury of battle. So what if I put on a few years? This is where I belong. I'm going to take back this garrison or die trying. I've captured a few keeps in my day and I've learned the hard way. Whoever holds the courtyard holds the keep. So I'm going to seal our grip on this space. We should also hit the barracks, though, before the Imperials get their greaves on. Yes, but I'm not saying to slaughter a bunch of half-dressed soldiers. We're not Reachmen for Mara's sake. No, I'm hoping some of our knights are imprisoned there, and you can free them. We need all the swords we can get. After we've got the courtyard under control, we'll meet you up there. Oh, and if you see Septimathan or any of her commanders, feel free to take them down. I'd love to kill the old witch myself, but you're better qualified.
One favor I ask. If you see Commander Atius, kill him! Commander Atius is down the hall. He tortured us. He needs to pay. It's a damn good thing you came out. I was just about to charge in there and find you myself. If I had died, it would have been your fault. You don't want the death of a king on your head, do you? Gods, I probably shouldn't jest like that. Not around Argella. Poor thing. There's no telling what these twisted Imperial bastards might have done with King Eamon's corpse. He was about to be entombed here when the garrison fell, of course. The Royal Crypt. All of Bankorai's rulers are buried there, to keep eternal vigil and such. The Imperials are doing something horrific in there. It's where they've formed their last line of defense. Whatever they're doing, I need you to stop them. East, across the bridge behind me. They're just throwing conscripts at us to keep us from getting across. They'll run out of fodder eventually. But if you'll lead the charge across on your way to the crypt, we can take the bridge now. You're going to the crypt, aren't you? If those churlish rats have raised Aemond, you strike him down. Don't hesitate. I loved my husband, but I'd rather see him burned than in that state. Whatever happens, just make sure I don't see him.
is coming, Magus General. Thank you for this honor, Megan. Glory to the Empire. Garrison is ours. The imbeciles will soon witness the Empire's true strength. Your covenants cannot escape my wrath. You will see soon enough. When you went below into the crypts, this foul icy fog rolled in. The earth shook, and those dolmen emerged from the ground beneath our feet. We retreated here to await your return. The rest you can clearly see. I'm afraid the giant Daedric Anchors from the Sky issue is more your speciality than my own. I'll let you lead on this one. A wise leader knows how to delegate, my father used to say. He may have died in his cups, but the man knew his aphorisms. What could be more kingly? Bankurai is mine, mortal. You cannot possibly protect it. books. This is the day the Empire began to crumble. Knights of St. Pelin, many of your brothers and sisters died here, but this was the purchase of their sacrifice. Be grateful and be proud. We have the bastards on the run now. Come, Argela. Come. Experience the joy of watching your enemies flee from battle.
I'll be honest with you. I didn't think we could retake the garrison. I expected to die here. I was even looking forward to it. But my heart is filled with happiness right now. Not for myself, but for the people of Evermore. Well, of course the war is far from over, but we've won a crucial battle. Definitely gave the Imperials a black eye. And Evermore is safe. I should return there, but I have a feeling Emmerich will want to press on to liberate Southern Bankrai. Whether it's wise or not isn't for me to say. All I can say is that if Emmerich wants to push on, I hope you will go with him. It's clear that any undertaking you're a part of is more than likely to succeed. We gave the Imperials a healthy kick in the buttocks, didn't we? I bet they don't stop running until they're behind the walls of Holland's stand. We will have to go after them, of course. For one thing, I still haven't seen Septima. I just have to find out how the years have treated the old girl. There's also the matter of liberating Southern Bankerai. It's Covenant territory, you know. One grain of sand at a time, my friend. It's true we don't have the troops to go traipsing off into the desert, but one person can scout Harlin's stand and see if Septima's there. If only I had a loyal and capable friend here. Of course, you can go to Harlin's stand. Fabulous idea. Yes, my friend. The key to driving the Imperials out of Southern Bankerai will be finding and eliminating the Magus General. If you'll track Septima down, we'll be halfway done. I believe they were aiming to conquer all Bankerai, but we've shown them that that's not going to happen. Septima's likely plotting revenge now, but who knows? Her family's so corrupt with power and necromancy, their motives hardly make sense anymore. Ha ha ha, sweet Septima. I may have mentioned before, I actually met her when I was just coming of age, tagging along with my father to Cyrodiil. I took quite a fancy to her, but she mocked my advances most cruelly. My father was just a merchant lord from Cumberland, come to kiss the Emperor's ring. I didn't realize it, but I was hardly a match for a Tharn. Even back then, Abner Thorn would never have allowed his niece to be courted by someone like me. It's a magnificent city right in the middle of nowhere. Only the gods know why the Red Guards even built it. But it's changed hands many times over the century. Not a subject to bring up when you have Faharajad and Argella in the same room. Queen Argella, of course. It's part of Bankorai. Come to think of it, I don't even know why Faharajad wants it. Doesn't he have enough desert cities? You'd think he'd be lobbying for more territory in the wetlands for Mara's sake.
The woods are no place for a princess. The woods welcome you. Know that the creatures here are neither enemies nor friends. There are hunters and prey. For you? Perhaps. The Viridian Sentinel once kept the wild at bay for the folk of Bankurai, but his power wanes. Soon he may regret saving the Princess of Evermore. Her mother already mourns her death, so why interrupt the natural course? Gravely wounded, but yes, Princess Alara is here. The Sentinel tends to her, and it takes all his power to draw her away from death. He would welcome aid, if you wish to give it. We weird have fulfilled our part of the bargain, and shall offer no more. He'll be at the Standing Stones by Viridian Lake. His power is strongest there. Look for the broken statue. It overlooks the altar where he works. If I had a seed for every man, woman, and child who asked me that, I'd cover the land in ivy in a fortnight. We are of the forest, and the forest is of us. That is all an outsider needs to know. The Sentinel is part of an ancient pact made long before living memory. A guardian of the woods of sorts, who anoints his or her successor without needing our approval. Not all weird believe we should continue to honor the pact. The forest is old and powerful. Long ago, a man not of the forest found a way to harness the forest's power and bend it to the will of his people. They called him the Viridian Sentinel. The title, and its power, has been passed down for generations. The Glenmoral Weird were not a party to the original pact. It's only our connection to the forest which binds us to it. The Sentinel is no true ally to the Weirises of the Viridian Wood. His sway over the natural order is anything but natural. Sad, isn't it? A poor child. No. As the Sentinel, I must warn you that these woods aren't safe. But as old girls, I'm glad to see a friendly face. I remember when that child was at more than a knee's height, and now she's laid out like a corpse. Well, the weird won't call me anything different. Most people who live around here call me Old Girls, or just Stenwick. The Viridian Sentinel is a bit of a mouthful, don't you think? Makes me sound more important than I really am. She was attacked and left for dead by the wayside like a beast. Well, she won't die on my watch. Not if you can help me. Around the lake, you'll find rings of mushrooms. Fairy rings. But fairies aren't what I need. Take my amulet. Get down in the center of the rings and feel the earth. I need the energy from there to keep Alara alive. I need to take the child back to my hut. It's just up the hill a bit. Can't miss it. Well, the weird won't call me anything different. Most people who live around here call me old girls or just Stenwick. Well, these woods have a life and a mind of their own. Well, what I do is make sure it doesn't get out of hand. There's some good folk who live near these lands. And without a firm hand, why, the, the wild would grow right over them. Me? I'd left Evermore and decided to live my life in the woods. And I met a man here, the 
previous Sentinel. He needed help, and I stayed with him. When he grew too weary, he blessed me with the title. A long, long time ago. Once I even worked as a royal gardener in Evermore. I, well, I'm more comfortable in the woods. It's where I belong. I was younger, I could instantly purge the poison running through this young lady's veins. Now it takes all my strength just to keep her breathing. The poor dear. Just in time, I've made a salve for Alara that'll help her wake. I'll channel what energy I have left into her. The amulet should be able to sustain me afterwards. At least, I hope it will. This'll just take a moment. more out of me than I thought. Go on, give it to the poor girl. I'll be all right. I was asleep? What am I doing in this hovel? And who are you? No, I remember. Stenwick brought me here. I was sick. Apologies, but I still don't remember who you are. Then you have my gratitude. I feel weak, but not unwell. It seems my outer wounds have all been healed. Tell me, stranger, how fares Evermore? Is my mother well? My father? I see. My mother must be in mourning then. I will send word that I am well if Stenwick is willing. Ah, we have company, it seems. Who's coming in? The forest feels your weakness, Sentinel. This is treacherous ground. Enter Daymara. Was that a warning or a threat? Stenwick, who is this? A Weiris? Yes, child. You will know more of them soon enough. Is that so? You're more foolish than I thought, old man. Don't think anything of this. The weird are a strange folk. The weird and I have always had a tenuous relationship, but saving Ilara was something I needed to do regardless of their objections. It will make this process harder than it needs to be, but I still have some spirit in me yet. Uh, it's quite complicated. Suffice to say, they don't think I should use the forest power for such things. Of course, they'd much rather I didn't exist at all. But it changes nothing. There's work to be done, and I'm not getting any younger. They are guardians of nature in the truest sense, and I am a guardian of the people. Our interests don't always coincide. They see my role as Sentinel as unnatural, though the Sentinel has existed for generations. 
Ah, my salve was but a reprieve, I fear. In order to safeguard Alara, I need to do something drastic, and I'll need the Weird's help. You've seen the Spriggans of the forest, I'll bet. There's one that's much older and much wiser than the rest of them. Some call her the Voice of the Forest. In a way, she is. I need a bud from one of her branches, one freely given. It can harness the full power of these woods to safeguard Ilara's life. May I ask your aid once again? Find the Voice of the Forest. It shouldn't be difficult to find, but if you must... Many Spriggans carry a spore that returns to the Voice of the Forest when the Spriggan dies. You could kill them and follow it to the Voice, but that certainly won't make it very happy. Take my amulet. Its power is spent, but the voice of the forest will recognize it and grant you an audience. Weiris Damara may not welcome you when you take the bud to her, but persevere. She knows what the weird must do. I won't sit here and let you do all the work. We have to find the voice of the forest. If Stenwick needs a sprig and bud, then I'll do anything to get it for him. I suppose you're right. I'll stay here with Stenwick. But this forest voice, if it's like a Spriggan, it will react to their deaths. I bet you could kill some Spriggans to draw it out. And if we never find it? No. Kill the Spriggans. It's the best chance to do this quickly. Probably. But they're animals. I don't see any other way to reason with them. Stenwick needs the bud. And we don't have time to coddle the Spriggans. We need their cooperation, whether they intend to give it or not. This creature disturbs the woods with the sentinels binding as a token. 
Has the forest not bent to the whims of the Sentinel already? What more can we give? So, he may pass our yoke to another, a stranger to the woods. Your demand is empty, voice of the Sentinel. I refuse. Why should we care for a mortal? We only seek to grow as our nature intends. Your sentinel is the one who prevents this. But you care nothing for our plight. It is a waste to speak of this further. Take the bud and be gone, but know this. There shall be no peace in these woods. A familiar scent surrounds you. Did the Sentinel send you? What do you hold? How dare the Sentinel pick his successor out of pity? But she didn't bring us the bud, you did. Why should we give our blessing to one who needs another to carry her burdens? He didn't even trust you enough to tell you, did he? Let the Sentinel explain it to you when you next see him. I'll do my part and no more. Where is this princess who is greater than the needs of nature? Too weak to even follow you? No, the forest does not need such a creature. The sentinel oversteps his bounds and the weird will not allow it. If you have something to say, you'll say it to my face. I will. You are weak fit for little more than prey. How do you hope to wield the Sentinel's power? Stenwick is trying to save my life. I don't know what he has planned, but I certainly owe it to him to see this through. The child knows nothing, and he expects us to offer our blessing? Once the Viridian Sentinel stood for something more than a wet nurse to spoil children. Now he expects us to train and rear this daughter of the city as our own? No. The Sentinel asks too much. His time wanes. He will make this girl the new Sentinel, untrained and unfit. He holds no respect for the forest and no respect for the weird. What does it matter to us if one child withers to allow the forest to grow free, I ask you? If you must. Of course, you already know whose side she'll be on. That said, arrangements must be made. Be quick. Once the... I don't know what Stenwick is planning, but if it'll save my life, I trust him. I don't understand why these weird people can't see that. Sounds like jealousy to me. It won't stand in my way. I won't give up a second chance at life for the whims of some forest folk. Stenwick is a kind man. Why won't they see that he means no harm? The weird can't interfere forever. Let them bless this thing and be done with it. Stenwick's not getting any younger. We will need to bless the voices, Bud, if you intend to go through with this. Alphine will help you prepare it. For the Sentinel's ritual, he needs a Spriggan bud, freely given. You have obtained that, but the bud will not bloom without nurturing. 
I hope you aren't squeamish about blood. But sister, you said this was the last time we would help the Sentinel. Enough. Come, let us finish the blessing and be done with it. Come along then. We have a sacrifice ready. When I say, hold the bud out in your hands, keep them steady, no matter what happens. Plunge it into the offering, quickly. That's it. The bud is ready. Take it to the girl, Ilara. I can't believe Damara continues to help the Sentinel on this mad scheme. We will all suffer for his generosity in the end. The girl knows nothing of the woods, and it will cost us all dearly. The weird have stalled long enough. Stenwick isn't healthy, and we must do what he asked before it's too late. Go to him. Tell him what we've done. I'm short of breath and must save my strength. I have a feeling they don't dare harm me as long as I'm under Stenwick's protection. We'll see if I guessed correctly. Of course. And this bud may heal Stenwick, the way he healed me. We'll need to use it if we're to save him. Take him to that altar in the lake. I'll meet you there. Go. Do as the girl bids. We will wait for the sentinel's strength to wane. And wane it will. I was hoping you'd return before... I couldn't speak to you one last time. It's good Alara's not with you. I'd hate for her to see me in such a state. Time, my friend. I gave my everything to heal Alara, and it still it won't be enough. That's why I sent you to get the Spriggan bud. The only way she'll live past a fortnight is if she becomes the Sentinel. <laughs> and luckily, there'll be a vacancy shortly. In a sense, the power of the Sentinel is immortal. I'm old, but Ilara is young. The Sentinel's power will take root and flourish in her. The weird fear what she will become, but you can't let that stop you. Take my essence. When I'm gone, save Ilara. Tell her she must tame the realm of the woods. The bud will summon and the amulet will bind. The weird certainly won't help, considering they'd much rather see this power go to waste. Don't let the Sentinel's power fade. It must live on in Ilara. he'd be here by now. Where is Stenwick? He gave everything to keep me alive, even his life. I don't even know what to do now. Does that mean I'm doomed to die as well? That was his plan all along, wasn't it? And I never got to thank him. 
If this is what he wanted, then I must see it through. You still have his amulet? Take it to the altar. We'll say a few words for him. So these moats are all that's left of dear Stenwick. What's that sound? Can you hear it? We meet again, ally of the Viridian Sentinel. Now you seek to subjugate these woods once again. We will see if you can succeed. How I long to watch you stumble and fail. But an ancient pact compels me to explain the right. One simply has to gather the moats about the lake. But beware, we are not without our own defenses. Then there will be no Viridian Sentinel. The yoke about our necks for centuries would be freed. Of course, there is one way to ensure the princess does not become the sentinel. Destroy the Spriggan bud I gave you, and she will fail. It is true, but we have endured a slow death for much longer. Man was not meant to rule over nature. No matter their intentions, they cannot know the will of the woods. The Viridian Sentinel is a mockery of nature's true cycle. I think I'm better now. Gods, what is this place? I didn't think we'd be able to pull through at the end, but we did. We did! You can't imagine how this feels. I had no idea Stenwick had this kind of... power. I can feel the earth. I can taste the wind. It's like every piece of this forest is a part of me. I will remain here, a part of these woods forever. Could I even command the beasts? It seems that it would have been a trivial matter. More than that, the rocks themselves give me strength. I feel immortal. Ah, apologies, my friend. This power, it's heady, like a deep, cold pool. Refreshing, but so easy to fall into. I have much to learn, it seems.
We met only briefly, but the forest will remember your deeds forever. I will make sure of it. So much has happened to me. It's hard to think clearly. No. I belong here, in these woods. Eventually, the Weird and I will come to terms. I see our past and present through the eyes of the Sentinel. There will never be love between us, but understanding is not too much to ask. <laughs>